Well, the race for the gold is getting a lot closer this morning. Justin's done, he's <laughs> that stunned is... by that Olympic music. Whoa. Today we are exactly 100 days out from the opening ceremony at the Summer Olympics in Paris, France. I'm excited. Let's yes. go. It's going to be the first games in a century in France's capital, but Olympic venues, of course, in Paris, also in other parts of France as well, even in Tahiti. We're getting ready to welcome the world's biggest sporting event this summer to KTVB. Matt Renault from our sister station in Denver has the story. At the Paris 2024 Olympic headquarters. The mix of sports and culture, it's going to be a fantastic moment. CEO Etienne Taubois is preparing for the summer games. Yes, yeah, awesome, and it's beautiful. Now, just 100 days from starting. The best athletes in one of the most iconic cities in the world, very excited. With the opening ceremony floating down the Seine River. A six kilometer parade. Uh, along with those, those, those iconic venues and places, the Louvre and the Twitter Hall and everything. And competition set in temporary venues located at iconic Paris landmarks. They are open venues because they are temporary, they're existing venues. That architects like Francois Clement with American architectural firm Populous it makes it shine again. Are overseen. Working at 38 venues at the same time. It's like designing 38 stadia at the same time and, and it requires a lot of organization. Cyclists will race on streets normally used for the last stage of the Tour de France. Got a, a friend who may be who may make the team. So if he if he makes it, we're definitely going to be here. While at La Concorde, athletes will compete in BMX freestyle, three on three basketball, skateboarding, and the debut of breaking. It's an opportunity for us to go higher and live off what we love doing. While back in the United States, athletes are hard at work all over the country. And they're in New York for the Team USA Media Summit, talking about their sports and the return of the Olympics after the restrictions of the last two pandemic games. It's going to be cool to go back there again and see it in a much different capacity. Excited to have family and friends back in Paris. Uh, we come after you know the Tokyo Games where uh, the pandemic uh, unfortunately, it didn't allow for spectators. Where ATN says they're just about ready for fans, athletes, and the world to celebrate in the city of lights, love, and in just 100 days, the Olympics. Looking forward to, to get that excitement going. It's going to be incredible. I love the Summer Olympics. I know you do too, to get the family around the TV and watch <laughs> every day to see all that today has in store for the big 100 day countdown, including Mike Tirico from Paris and dozens of Olympic hopefuls filling their Parisian inspired plaza. You have to watch the Today Show this morning, right after our show right here on Channel 7. They're going to do it up big. Yeah, a lot of Idaho athletes yes. competing as well over there in Paris. Can't wait for that. Well, the